वेलकम टू गोवा एकेडमी वी आर स्टडीइंग इंडेक्स नंबर्स एंड आई एम हियर विद वन मोर मेथड ऑफ फाइंडिंग वेटेड प्राइस इंडेक्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न लास्ट पेयर्स इंडेक्स नंबर पास एज इंडेक्स नंबर एंड फिशर्स इंडेक्स नंबर एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन डिटेल अबाउट ऑल दीस थ्री and we are very well aware that the biggest problem with last pair index number and passe index number is that both of them consider quantity of the items consumed for only one year out of base year and current year in case of last pair we have to consider the quantity of base year only and in case of passe index number we have to consider the quantity of current year only and fisher suggested a very say intelligent solution of the problem and he suggested that we should take the geometric mean of last pair and passes index number and he also proved some more things about the importance of geometric mean as well as satisfying the time reversal test and factor reversal test etc so the problem with last pair and passe index numbers is actually using particularly the quantity of only one year so all in other weighted index numbers suggested by these two index numbers mainly focused on using the data for both the years in case of fisher we have already studied that data the whole data for both the years is used and ultimately fisher's index number is geometric mean of last pair's index number and passe's index number somewhat easier method has been suggested by dorbish and bowley yes they suggested that to consider the quantities that means statistical data of both the years base year as well as current year we should take the simple arithmetic mean of last pair and passe index number as the final index number so in simple words last pair's index number and passe's index number both are to be considered and then we need to calculate its arithmetic mean and that is the index number or weighted price index number suggested by dorbish and bowley so we have now two ways either to calculate last pair index number and passe index number first and then to find out its arithmetic mean and then another is if we want to directly calculate the index number suggested by dorbish and bowley then we should use the formula in such a way that ultimately we can have the index number that is ultimately simple mean or simple arithmetic mean of last pair and passe index numbers yes in this case we are going to calculate dorbish and bowley index number in both the ways first by direct formula but again i suggest that if you have already calculated last pair and passe index number then first of all check your calculations for both of these and if you found them correct then only on the basis of these two you can calculate fisher's index number and dorbish and bowley index number if you need to calculate directly dorbish and bowley's index number or fisher's index number you have two alternatives either to calculate directly by the formula or first to calculate last pair's index number and passe's index number but mind well if you are going to get your fisher index number or dorbish bowley index number through last pair and passe's index number please check your workings for calculation of last pair index number and passe index number so that you be confirm and confident about the correctness of both these index numbers and then you calculate fisher's index number and dorbish and bowley index number because if you have made any error in either last pair's index number or passe's index number your fisher or bowley index number will automatically be incorrect that's why i am telling this okay now let's calculate dorbish and bowley index number see 
statistics or quantities or prices and quantities of both the years based as well as current years are considered that is the greatest merit of this but according to say so many philosophers and economists and statisticians geometric mean is a better statistic or better measure for any index number than simple arithmetic mean but we have to follow say curriculums and syllabus etc and in many universities in the syllabus or curriculum of undergraduation and post graduation courses we need to study Dorbyshen Bowley index number, Marshall Edgeworth index number and some other index number but these five are main in most of the universities we have to study or we need to study these five last pair index number, Passe index number, Fischer's index number, Dorbyshen Bowley index number and Marshall and Edgeworth index number which I am going to explain in the next lecture but first in this lecture let's calculate Dorbyshen Bowley index number yes this is arithmetic mean of last pair and Passe index numbers but first of all we are going to calculate it directly yes see sigma p1 q0 that is 2040.90 divided by sigma p o q o 1610.55 plus sigma p1 q1 yes I prefer to prepare these columns according to the order in this formula yes 3180.25 2507.15 if you watch my lectures carefully you will find so many little suggestions and say some precise workings or methods of working or method of presentation from my lecture this is very simple thing to prepare the columns according to last pair and passe formula it will be very much easy for you to substitute to find and substitute the correct values at correct place in the formula yes this is very small thing but very important in if you are habituated to do your working in this way in examination there will be very low chances of making errors Yes, if we simplify this fraction or this ratio, it will be 1.2672 and similarly this will be 1.2685 into 100 and on simplifying this bracket as well as this one, yes we find 1.2678 into 100. So ultimately index number of Dorbyshen Bowley comes to 126.78 it is almost equivalent to Fisher's index number because I am using the same data in case of calculation of all the index numbers so that you can compare the final values of index numbers and it will be easier for you to understand all the index numbers if we use the same data for calculating all the index number. I always suggest to my all students that first three or four cases for first three or four cases use same data for calculating all the different index numbers yes when you are studying this first time or say for the examination point of view it is a it is the best method to calculate all the index number for single data when you are practicing your chapter Okay, now let's calculate this index number. We have already calculated last pair's index number and past pair's index number for the same data in our previous lecture. So you can get these answers from your notebook when you have written all these things while learning last pair and past pair index number for my, from my previous lecture. So now the other interpretation of Dorbyshen Bowley index number is it is arithmetic mean of last pair's index number and passe index number we have both the values 126.72 plus 126.85 summation of these two divided by 2 and it comes to almost the same thing 
126.78. So the index number suggested by Dorbish and Bowley is nothing but the simple arithmetic mean of the index number suggested by Lasper and Passe. Again, I am sure this lecture is also very much useful to you in understanding the concepts and some I always give brief revision of previous concepts. Okay, don't forget to like my lecture, don't forget to visit and subscribe my YouTube channel PUAAR Academy. Just go to search bar in YouTube and write PRSHNT PUAAR, you will reach my channel and also don't forget to suggest my videos my lectures and my channels to all others who are studying or not there is something useful for all who are curious that's it thank you very much take care